Welcome to Zero Math. Today we'll understand what is trigonometry. So what trigonometry is derived from the Greek word, which is means like try, which means three, and gone meaning slides, and metron meaning measure. So we can see that we deal with the measurement of triangles. In fact, if we talk about relationship between the sides and the angles of a triangle, so we can also refer to trigonometry. Coming to the application in real life, in ancient method, it was used for astronomy in finding the distance of the stars, finding the radius of the earth too, finding the height of hills, buildings, trees, which is not possible by actual measurements, navigation of airplanes, ships, etc. And last but not the least, that's in defense. Right angle triangle. Before going to the trigonometry, let's understand what is a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle means we talk about a triangle where we are having one of the degree as 90 degrees. So now we have to deal with certain sides. So what are the sides? Let's understand it. Number one, we'll talk about the hypotenuse. What is a hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is the longest side of a triangle. The adjacent. What is the adjacent? The side which is adjacent to angle theta which will be called the adjacent sides of a right angle triangle and what about the opposite so opposite side is the opposite side to the theta that's called the opposite side of a right angle triangle now since we are clear with this topic let's understand like how do we use, use this right angle triangle in order to find the trigonometric ratios a right angle triangle or simply it's also called right triangle the case number one let us take angle a to be theta so there can be various cases here so first we'll go to the case number one where a is taken to be angle theta so when a is taken to be angle theta so if we find out the hypotenuse side it's always the longest side which is here ac if we talk about the base so base is the side which is adjacent to theta that is, this is AB is a base here. And if we talk about the opposite side, which is the side BC, that is called the perpendicular because it's opposite side to the angle theta. That's, that's why it's called opposite side or simply perpendicular. Similarly, in the case number two, if we take angle C to be theta, then what would happen if we want to find out the hypotenuse? So it's as usual the longest side because AC is called the hypotenuse. Coming to the adjacent side, so the side which is adjacent to the angle theta, we we'll call it as adjacent side. And coming to the perpendicular, perpendicular is the side which is opposite to the angle theta, which is known as perpendicular. The sides are always defined with respect to acute angles A or C. So we never define the sides with respect to the right angle. So either we can define the sides with respect to angle A or angle C here. So what are the trigonometric ratios that we use in trigonometry? It's a very important topic. So coming to the sine function, or simply we can say that next uh, trigonometric ratios, which is taken to be SIN sine. Let us find out the sine in respect to first triangle, second triangle, and third triangle. So if I consider angle C to be theta in all of these cases, let us understand how to write the sine function. Sine of angle theta here, it's taken to be the perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. So if I say which one is a perpendicular to angle theta in the first triangle, which is mn. So mn we have to take divided by the hypotenuse. Which one is the hypotenuse here? It's as usual the longest side, which is called mc. Similarly, if you want to define the sine of angle theta for the second triangle, so first we have to take the perpendicular as usual. So the angle, uh, the theta, uh, which is having the opposite side, will be taken to be AB, divided by, it is taken to be AC, as AC is the longest side, also called the hypotenuse. Similarly, for the third triangle, we can define sine of angle theta, or simply sine of theta, is to be PQ, divided by PC. Remember that sine of an acute angle is a right, in a right angle triangle, is defined as a ratio of the opposite side to the acute angle, by the hypotenuse. So in all these three cases, what we have seen is sine theta is a perpendicular by hypotenuse. Now coming to the next function, which is called cosine function, or simply we can see it as the ratio which is cos. Now if I find out what is cos theta in the first triangle, 
So as our relation says that we have to take the adjacent side of the theta. So we have to take the adjacent side of the theta, which is your CN. So we have to take CN first, divided by, as usual, the hypotenuse, which is MC. Similarly, in the second case, if I want to write cos of theta, so here we have to take the adjacent to this theta, since as we can see, green color line is the adjacent line to it. So we have to write BC divided by AC. For the third triangle, if you want to find the cos theta or cosine of theta, the same thing we have to apply here as a green line represent the adjacent side, which is CQ, divided by PC, which is the longest side. So what we have found here, so cosine or cos of an angle theta, or mostly acute angle, in a right angle triangle is defined as a ratio between the side adjacent to the acute angle and the hypotenuse. Coming to, coming to the next ratio, which is tangent function, or simply we can say that the ratio of time. So for example, if we need to find out the tan theta, where theta is this angle, so tan theta is given by the side perpendicular to the angle theta divided by the adjacent side. So if we talk about which one is perpendicular here, so m is a perpendicular divided by the adjacent side, which is cn. Similarly, for this triangle also, we can find tan theta is equal to, if we consider this as theta, so this is perpendicular side, which is AB, divided by adjacent side, which is PC. For this also, you can tell, if this is considered to be theta, so the opposite side, as we should be having PQ, divided by the adjacent side, which is CQ. So apart from these three basic trigonometric ratios, we also have the reciprocal trigonometric ratios. So what are the other reciprocal trigonometric ratios? The other trigonometric ratios are the cosec theta, sec theta and cot theta. So we'll define what is cosec theta, sec theta and cot theta. Cosec theta is taken to be 1 pi sine theta. That means we can say reciprocal of sine. Reciprocal of sine. Second sec theta is taken to be the reciprocal of cos theta, which is called reciprocal of cos. And the last one is cot theta, which is taken to be the reciprocal of tan. So we can say that if we talk about sec, so sec A is said to be 1 by cos A, which is equals to hypotenuse by adjacent, which is taken to be H by B. If we talk about cosec A, so it's taken to be the reciprocal of sin A, that means hypotenuse by opposite, which can also be represented as small h by small a. And to cotangent or simply cot, it's a reciprocal of tan A, which is taken to be adjacent by opposite. So we can also say it's to be B by A. Now let us quickly solve an example where sin theta is given to be 7 by 25, and we need to find the other trigonometric ratios. That means we need to find cos of theta, sec theta, cosec theta, tan theta, and cot theta. So let us just begin. So we know that sin theta is taken to be perpendicular by hypotenuse. So here if we see which one which side is a perpendicular side, which is AB. And the hypotenuse is the longest side as usual, which is taken to be AC. So according to the given question, we are having 7 by 25. So let us just take AB as 7 here and let us take, take AC as 25. Now the question comes here, what, how to find BC? Since this is a right angle triangle, simply right triangle. So we know that it will satisfy Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, theorem we know that AB squared plus BC squared equals to AC squared. Simply putting all the values, AB squared, that means 7 squared, BC squared is unknown to us, and AC squared is 25 squared. Now just putting all the values together, so that 7 squared is 49, now BC squared, 25 squared is 625. So if we check out, BC squared is taken to be 625 minus 49 which is 5.76. So what about BC now? Since we got BC square equals to 5.76. That means this gives BC is equals to root over 5.76, which is equals to 24. 
Now, if you check to the previous slide, so what we have this side as 24. Now, let's, let us just find the other trigonometric ratios. So, cos theta now will be the base, or simply we can say the adjacent side, which is BC, divided by hypotenuse, which is AC. So, since BC we got 24, and AC we have 25. So, cos theta will be taken to be 24 by 25. Similarly, applying the other formulas, tan theta will be equals to AB by BC, which is equals to 7 by 24. Cosine theta will be reciprocal of sine theta. So, we can simply write 1 by sine theta, that is 25 by 7. Sec theta is a reciprocal of cos theta, so we can simply write 1 by cos theta, which can be written as 25 by 24. Coming to the last one, which is cot theta, which is taken to be 1 by tan theta, that is reciprocal of tan theta, which is written to be 24 by 7. So this is how we can find the six trigonometric ratios by given like one of the trigonometric ratios.